Hello everyone, okay we are here at AUT in the Exercise Physiology Laboratory. Here this morning doing some testing, some research for um, a PhD. So Jeff Rothschild who's joined me here doing his PhD. Last week went through a VO2 max test just to get some baseline values and today we're actually starting the study. The study is looking into basically pre-exercise feeding and training adaptation. So today, so far I haven't eaten anything and then there's going to be three separate interventions where we're having different macronutrients before each, um, each trial where we're doing um, some, some high intensity interval training today. So do you want to talk a little bit more about it and tell people a bit more about the research, Jeff? Yep. yep. So what we're doing, like I said last week, we, we did some baseline testing. Uh, today we have, we have three diet variations. So we have a fasted training, uh, we have a carbohydrate fed breakfast, and we have a protein breakfast. So just like a protein, uh, protein powder with some peanut butter. So that's gonna let us check things like fat oxidation and his work capacity during high intensity interval training. So today we're gonna do five by four minute uh, submaximal intervals. So that's gonna check things like fat oxidation and cycling economy and things like that. And then we're gonna do six by three minutes of high intensity intervals. And we're gonna see basically how much, how, how great his work capacity is. And then we'll be able to see if that varies, if he's been fasted or if he's had a carbohydrate breakfast or if he's had some low carbohydrate uh, breakfast like protein and fat. Nice, so basically I'm in for a world of pain today. It's gonna to be pretty hard, right? That's it. The last few is gonna be hard. Yep. So yeah, let's crack into it. So I've just gone through four or five minute stages, um, increasing power every, every five minutes. Started at 160 watts, finished at 306 watts. What we're doing is we're just looking at the changes in substrate use, so carbs versus fat usage at those different percentages as we go through those five minutes. Obviously we'll do this again, but with a different exercise, with a different pre-feeding, and that will um, give us some good information. So now we've done that, we're gonna get into some higher intensity, which is the three minute rep, so here we go. So he's on a second three minute interval, and right now he's at 362 watts. We're gonna do three intervals, uh, three minutes, each at 362. So he's doing three intervals, but they're not at a set water, so they're as, as hard as he can go for three minutes. So we can do three times three minutes at full efforts. So three of the intervals are capped at a certain wattage, and then three of them are full on. And that allows us to compare kind of apples to apples and apples to oranges in a sense. So we can see if he's able to do more work with the different breakfast uh, scenarios, um, and also how hard and, and, and some other things about doing the same work with the different uh, breakfast scenarios. Yeah, and I guess it's also quite good from an exercise prescription perspective because that's how typically people train. They'll either do a clam workout or, a, you know, a, best effort workout. So we're trying to get an idea of what's happening in those two different types of training so we could actually have a better idea what that would look like from training prescription for coaches and athletes. So one more, two more to go. Yeah. 15 so. seconds. All right, so there's the intervals done. So as Jeff, Jeff said before, we did three clamps and then three all out. Finished uh, pretty high heart rate for me. The good news is we get to do this another two times. So more fun and games to come because that was pretty hard. So look forward to that next week, eh, Jeff? Excellent work today. <laughs>